All things bourbon, all week long. It's Bourbon Week. Presented by Buffalo Trace Distillery. Got Johnny Cash to do that. It's amazing. There's a long train coming. In honor of Bourbon Week, we thought it would be a good idea to learn more about the iconic Kentucky drink. Tim Niddle is a professor at Midway University, and one of the classes he teaches mm -hmm. is Bourbon Studies. Yes. So welcome. Deb, uh, we are Thank honored you, to have you help us kick off Bourbon Week. Thank you. Glad to be here. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, so uh, tell me about the class. I didn't so know I could take a class. It's more than one class, actually. It's the Bourbon Studies curriculum. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, it's available as an undergraduate minor or as a concentration in the MBA program. Uh -huh. uh, and we teach tourism, event management, and hospitality as it relates to bourbon. So we're really looking at Kentucky bourbon tourism, but a foundation is understanding Kentucky bourbon itself. Right. Yeah. So I've got a little pop quiz for you if you're ready. Sure we okay. are. Okay. Touring bourbon distilleries all last week, this should be pretty easy for you. All right. Can you tell me what bourbon is? It's a whiskey. Whoa. Oh, very good. All right. Bourbon yeah. whiskey. Most people don't get there. Yeah. All these okay. bottles are going to so say nervous. bourbon whiskey on them. <laughs> whiskey is your noun. Bourbon is your adjective. It's uh -huh. a classification of whiskey or a type of whiskey. Okay. Right. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. Now, can you tell me how it has to be made? Uh, it, it has to be a uh, uh, fifty-one percent. You're right on. Uh, corn. Corn. Fifty-one percent corn. Yeah. All right. So what else? Forty-nine. Well, it has. To, uh, oh, I knew it, but now I don't As know. It doesn't. It. Have, a lot of people have the misnomer. It has to be made in Kentucky. It does not. Very good. But only good bourbon is made in Kentucky. Well, we make ninety-five percent of it. We yeah. can pretty much claim it. But That's it does true. have to be made in the United States. Okay. It can't okay. be made outside okay. the U.S. So at least 51% corn in your grain recipe, made in the U.S. What else you got? And then the uh, charred white oak barrels. New charred white oak barrel, very good. Hey, good job. And then uh, it has to be, well, I don't know if that's a legal classification. The bottle and bond part, when does that come that's, in? That is a legal classification of certain American whiskeys. That doesn't necessarily make it bourbon, though. Doesn't that's necessarily not what you're make looking for. Right. Oh, this is hard, isn't it? I know. I get, Bourbon yeah. is the most heavily regulated spirit in the world. Right. So oh, there's really? more rules governing its production. That's why it's so hard to remember what goes into it. Mm -hmm. So let me give you out, help you out a little bit. It has to be built from grains, at least 51% corn. You got that. Uh -huh. You're going to ferment that into a product called the distiller's beer, which you're going to distill to not greater than 160 proof. It's a low proof distillation. You get a product like this Buffalo Trace white dog coming off the still. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to be reduced or gauged in proof to no more than 125 before it goes into the new charred oak barrel that you mentioned. Then we're going to bottle it up at not less than 80 proof or 40 percent alcohol. Made in the U.S. No additives for color or flavor. It's guaranteed all natural spirit. Okay. It's amazing with all of those specifications that so many distilleries though have their unique flavor. It's Absolutely. all everybody can still make their little spin on it. Now here's my question that drives me. These guys wouldn't answer it. They were too humble. How does one become a master distiller? Is yeah. there a, a governmental body? Is there a regulatory <laughs> body that, that says, okay, you're a master yeah. distiller, or is it just a title I can claim at any time? It's a title anyone can claim. Okay. There's no governing body behind it. <laughs> Historically in Kentucky, it's been an inherited title. You look at the Beam family and those uh -huh. kinds of things. Uh, but now we're looking at a lot of chemical engineers actually getting that. Yeah. Uh, Harlan Wheatley visited a Buffalo Trace. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, Marianne Barnes over at Castle and Key. Yeah. You know, um, Connor O'Driscoll over at Heaven Hill, the new master distiller there. Uh -huh. They're all chemical engineers. All yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a mixture. Yeah. It's experience. You know, they need to have that experience. So don't be going to tell people just because you drank it, you're a master distiller. Well, uh, any one more question before we go? How do you spell bourbon? B-O-U-R-B-O-N? So close. It's got a capital B on the front of it. Oh! May 4th, 1964, Congress declared bourbon to be a distinctive product of the U.S. It makes it an Appalachian spirit, makes it capitalized. Oh, oh so you okay. have to no, capitalize it. Okay. Very nice. Well, if you're interested in learning more about bourbon and how it contributes to Kentucky tourism, you can take the class at Midway University. Just log on to midway.edu to find out more. Thank you so right. much. Good Thank job. You. I appreciate it. All righty, stick with us. Your pet of the day is coming up next.